So we're here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival uh, with engineering.com and we're sitting down with Elon Musk. In our previous video we spoke about his work with Tesla Motors and the need to innovate uh, in that interesting arena. Uh, I'd like to ask a little bit about commercial space exploration, space transit. I think a lot of people in the last few years have heard, it sounds as if we're abandoning space travel. There's, that's the news, right, that NASA is no longer doing space flight and it's, it's going away. Uh, I think SpaceX it lets us know that that's a very different story. What do you see as the present day situation with space travel? And we're at a festival full of young adults. What potential careers do you see for them in the coming years? We are at the dawn of a new era of space exploration, um, and one which is going to have a, a, a very significant commercial space component to it. And in fact, it will be primarily uh, commercially driven. And if you think of the beginning of, the, of, of, of the, when the internet really uh, took off, it was when um, commercial companies got involved, and that was around the 94, 95 era with Netscape. Um, so I think we're, I think we're kind of at that inflection point for space, and I think it's, we're going to see a rapid acceleration of, of space technology um, and I think uh, um, it, it's gonna, we're, we're finally going to push the boundaries of space again uh, and go beyond the moon, in fact, uh, to Mars. Um, so the, the, the goal of SpaceX is to develop the technologies necessary to make life multiplanetary and uh, establish a self-sustaining um, settlement on Mars um, and, and ultimately you know, make, make life truly multi-multiplanetary. Um, and I think, that's, uh, I think that's one of the most important things that we could possibly do. Uh, because um, that, that, will, that will, more than anything, uh, ensure the continuance of life as we know it and ensure that the light of consciousness on Earth is not extinguished. Wow. If you Plus, it will be the greatest adventure ever. Fantastic. Except for the, except yeah. for the three years of travel part. It's no, it's, it's, it's six months. Is that uh, right? Six months maximum. Okay. Um, and it's, and so it will be six months initially, and then over time we could reduce it under a month. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Now, here, so here's a question on on the idea of, of Mars exploration. If you think about 100 years ago, we were just learning how to fly. And it was blowing our minds that people were 100 feet in the air. Today, we're thousands of miles, you know, satellites thousands and millions and billions of miles away or whatever. Uh, we're orbiting yeah. Earth, we're, we're going to the moon. How long do you think until we get manned travel to Mars? Well, I, I, think, um, uh, I think it's gonna be uh, at, as soon as 10, but maybe, but no later than 20 years from now. That's, that's my, my view. Wow. You know, and it's very interesting. I think that's super exciting. There isn't that same charge, I think, that we had in the 60s when our nation said, we're sending to a man on the moon in this decade. Yeah. It put a box around, let's get together on this. And I think with Mars, it, it, and I think in a lot of people's minds, it's very far way off. Yes, it is. It, 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 well, um, the, there's, there's no chance that humanity will get to Mars via the traditional government methods. The cost is just too high. Um, and, and nor is it, I think, necessarily re relevant because sending, doing another Flags and Footprints mission to, mission to Mars is not that important. Um, it's, it's notable, uh, it'll set a new high altitude record, but it's not going to affect the destiny of humanity uh, in, in a I'll meaningful say. way. Um, what will affect the destiny of, of, of humanity uh, is the establishment of a permanent civilization on Mars. Um, that, that will dramatically affect the future. Um, yeah. Why would companies, if, if it's, it won't be the government motivation, what motivates a company? What com motivates the commercial backing behind establishing those colonies there? What do, what do companies get out of that? Well, this, uh, you've, you've hit upon, obviously, an, uh, uh, an important problem. Because uh, certainly once there is a colony established on Mars uh, and there's, there's interplanetary commerce, of course, there, then there is a, a very powerful forcing function for commerce. Uh, but until there is uh, such a thing, established, there is no forcing function. Somebody has to decide to do it. Um, and that's, that's why I chose to, to start SpaceX first, actually, before Tesla, was because there is no direct economic forcing function. It just has to be that someone thinks it's important, and so they try to do it. So as soon as we get a Dunkin' Donuts on <laughs> Mars, we're set. As soon as there's a base on Mars, there will be a, enormous opportunity for companies to, to establish themselves on Mars. and. Um, and to service the, the interplanetary commerce. That's, that's fascinating. We've been talking with Elon Musk, the man that they based uh, Tony Stark's character on Iron Man, if I understand right. <laughs> Part of it, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's a pretty awesome comparison. Uh, you can check out more videos uh, with the interviews we've done on engineering.com, as well as learn about other amazing engineering and science celebrities that have been here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival. Elon, thank you so much for your All time. Right. Thank you. Appreciate it.